All right. And we're back. This is Work with Ty Brownlow. Once again, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. And I have a very special guest on my show today. Let me give you a couple of words about my guest. Educator, mentalist, environmentalist, and none other spoonism. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the one and only Mark Spooner of Ed Life. How are you today, sir? Spooner here for Ed Life Academy, and I am wonderful, beautiful, happy, healthy, and hey, glad to be here. Look here. All those things you are, sir, let me tell you, all right? Um, but if you don't mind, man, let's just jump right into these questions, all right? Sure. All right, all right. So um, tell the people about what Ed Life is and your involvement in the cause. I had an idea. Uh, after many years of teaching, I realized that these kids leave high school ill prepared for the real world. And I wanted to make a difference beyond the classroom. And I had this idea, this vision, and it kind of morphed over the years. I, I kind of, you know, was, wasn't able to to really get into it until now. And uh, so the dream is to create an online life skills program that will better prepare high school and, and just graduated uh, high school kids for the real world. Uh, we don't have our, our curriculum currently in many schools, most schools actually, don't really do that. And uh, there's a wealth of information these kids need to know to have a chance and henceforth uh, at Life Academy. So right now I'm actually, I'm, I'm uh, working on my line of t-shirts to sell to raise money to help build this program. And uh, so I'm having fun with that. I've always wanted a t-shirt line. And uh, you see my crazy videos on my various social media platforms. I'm on uh, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. And I have a uh, blog uh, on Tumblr. If you go to my website at lifeacademy.com, you'll be able to see all of them. Okay, okay, all right. Well, man, that, look, so you say that you were teaching and you were figuring that these kids really didn't have any plans after they graduated. Well, they really didn't know what they were going to do? I have seen time and time again, numerous, numerous kids leave high school um, most don't really, I don't want to say most, but many don't want to uh, enter college. Uh, they want to go right into, right into the workforce, but they don't know so many things that are necessary to, to function in society, to be independent, to be, uh, you know, productive. And so uh, my, th this is my dream, you know, I, I, I want to cover topics such as uh, job skills, uh, personal finance, um, character building, emotional health, exercise, nutrition, you know, many of the areas that these kids are, are really not well informed to get to better prepare them for real life. And, uh, you know, high school teaches you many things, but it appears that, that those things are not, are, are, not, uh, are not on that list. So henceforth, Ed Life Academy. Now, were you here in Los Angeles when you did when you launched this or this idea came about or were you somewhere else? Where were you when this idea first came about? I originally hailed from New York, uh, born right. and raised. Um, shout out to East Coast peoples, my peeps, my fans. Um, <laughs> All right. I didn't actually, you know, gotta, gotta, gotta give love to East Coast, you know. You know, let me, let me just say this real quick. You know, I, I, I am a New York born and raised, so I apologize for my West Coast peoples, but <laughs> I'm always going to root for New York teams. I, m m m you know, just disrespect that, okay? Just, just, just be okay with that, okay? All right? <laughs> okay. I love my Lakers. I love, you know, all y'all, Ram, whatever. I, I love y'all, but I have to root for New York, okay? Just just, it'll be, just be real right now, okay? All right. Um, I've had the idea for many years. Uh, I moved out here in 2013, and I, and I believe at that time, it became... Um, my schedule changed such that I was able to spend more time and begin the process of developing, developing the site. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm working on the t-shirt line, but I also want to launch a, uh, I don't know what you call it, a, just a, 
a thing where I'm, I'm actually talking, self, self videos, selfie videos, where I'm uh, talking about things the kids need to know about. Okay. And I'm gonna call it uh, Ed Life Real Talk. That'll probably appear on my blog on uh, Tumblr. And I'll have videos, I'll have uh, quotes, I'll have various uh, uplifting motivational videos to kind of get these guys, uh, you know, on the right page. I, I think these kids lack positive imagery. Yes. Positive role models. They they, they lack empathy. Sorely yes. needing an empathy. Yes. And um, there was a third thing as well. But yeah, that's what I want to do. I want I want to uplift this this population and let them know that they are somebody important. That they can do whatever they they want. Um, the dreams can be realized. They just have to believe and and uh, you know just just work. You know I believe that that the universe is abundant, and if you ask, you shall receive. But you have to stay focused and uh, really want that out of life. So, you know, there's a lot of potential. I've seen a lot of potential, and I want to bring it out out of them. So that's my dream right now. That's that's the goal to get it to get them in the right direction. All right, hey man, look, I like your vision. I've actually checked out some of the videos, so I know um, <laughs> the you know area that you're going in. You know, I love it, man. Like other people can say whatever they want. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to let you know you have a fan in me and I will be getting one of those shirts soon. But for sure, for sure. Um, let, me, let, let, me, let me just say that, uh, you know, first and foremost, yes. life is too short to be miserable, right? True. So whatever I do, I do with a passion and, and, and a, uh, a high enjoyment. It's fun, you know? I mean, I, 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 you know, I know that my, my purpose in life is to serve the young population, I know that. And I, I learned that early in life. Uh, but it's gotta be fun. It's gotta be in a way that, that I can really enjoy it. And this is right now is, is where I'm at. This feels good. And uh, I know that I'm, I'm making a difference. So I will continue. Well, and, you, uh, know what? you know That's a great segue into my next question because <laughs> how have the principles that Ed Life stands for, how, like, how has that affected the youth that you serve? I um, I try to integrate my beliefs into the classroom. Okay. Uh, I, I realize that my job as a teacher goes beyond books. Yes. Goes beyond the, the, the you know the three R's: reading, writing, and arithmetic. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always try to use my life as an example. Uh, if it can serve as a lesson for them to learn, then I then I uh, am open about it. Uh, and I, and I realize and I'm fine that they are you know, very responsive to that. Uh, you know, I, I have an important job, you know, I'm, as a teacher, I take it very seriously. You know, I, I, I see myself as like Hebrew National. I got to ask you a higher call. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotcha. Um, so I, I'm always trying to be an example of my words, you know, and I, and I try to, you know, let them know that uh, this is the way to be. You, you, you know, you, the culture, you know, and I, and I, I hate to down anything, but the culture is is uh, it doesn't help. You know what I mean? They're not they're not uh, they're not getting anything by not focusing on the things that that will make them successful. Sure. You know, they're distracted, and I believe that there are powers that are set up that way to, to make it this way. And I'm trying to flip the script and let them see that you know. <laughs> Guys, you got, you know, this is not going to help you. You have to find the path that's gonna that get, bring you to, you know, success. And you guys have the ability to do that. I reach some kids, I, I don't reach all of them. I reach some, many maybe. Um, but they see what I'm trying to do, they, they respond to it. And so, many a time I find that when, when they leave high school, mm -hmm. when they're out in the real world, they're like, oh, life bulb goes off. Oh, now I understand. I'm so grateful. I'm sorry that I didn't listen back then, but I'm so grateful now. And, uh, you know, I see it happen time and time again. So I was going to ask you what's been their response to, like, some of the things you, like, try to um, put in your lesson as you teach. Um, do, man, can you recall any, like, you know, worst to first or like low to high moments, you know, um, 
just like in your journey of teaching, like what has been some of the high and low moments or the low and high moments um, of you implementing at life into your teaching program? Um, the, the, you see the light go off in there, you know, but like I, I always try to make the, the, the lessons real. Mm -hmm. um, I, I especially seem to find my sweet spot in English where I utilize, uh, you know, things that are, that are real. Like I'll do, I'll do quotes. I'll write down a quote and have, we'll talk about the quote. It's always a quote that's going to be motivational, uplifting. Yeah. And they respond to that. Um, you know, we talk about politics. Uh, I'll have CNN on and uh, KTLA. We'll, we'll discuss things like that. And they respond to that, you know, so that'd be part of the, the real world the democratic process. You know, they, they don't all get it. Uh, but they listen uh, most of the time, and, and uh, there is some good responses to that. Uh, I have them writing about things that they like to write about. Um, you know, I, I try not to preach. That's hard sometimes, you know, because you want to you want to make them see the light. But it's, it's uh, you got you have to kind of you know you have, you can't you can't push. You have to guide. So yeah. you know you 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 gently move them in that direction and hope it takes. It doesn't always work, but, uh, you know, you, you have to maintain that, that focus. That, that, that's the goal. The goal is to get them to be successful. And, and so whatever I do, um, you know, it, it, it's along those lines. And, and you, have, you have great great lessons where they really respond. The quote thing is really good. Mm -hmm. Other times, you know, just stuff comes up where they just bring up a topic. And, uh, you know, um, that becomes a lesson, you know. I'm always open to discussing that which is important that they feel is important. Because uh, uh, if you include them in, if you include their world into the lesson, they're mm -hmm. much more apt to be part of it. So I always, I always leave that opportunity open for that to happen. And again, I have good, good and bad, you know. Well, no, I mean, you know, right so, you know, all right. So let's talk about the good and bad for a second like if any what have been some of the challenges that you faced so far in your journey you know just in teaching and trying to you know go through the process of starting a program such as ed life like how did you overcome those or are you still in the process of overcoming it's uh so you know you start off with a vision Mm -hmm. and uh, you try to make it work in the real world with your schedule and everything else going on and it was difficult for me. Um, so I, I wanted to hire someone that uh, could assist me with this endeavor and um, you know of course teacher salary uh, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth even though my last name is Spooner. <laughs> um, I hear you. So, so you know the idea of t-shirts came around and I've always wanted to do a t-shirt line. I've, I've had many, uh, uh, you know, instances in my life where I've, I've set up a line of t-shirts and, uh, you know, haven't been so successful, but I, I never really pursued the idea of doing t-shirts that pertain to my career, education. And so here I am now, Just it just seemed to click. So here I am producing these t-shirts that have positive messages that are, are fun, that are cool, that are, you know, different mm -hmm. and I'm putting them out there I'm making these funny videos to kind of give notice attention to them and uh, you know I've been at it I kind of been at the videos really for about a year or so and uh, you know now I'm learning about the marketing aspect of it it's yeah. been fun but I haven't made any sales and I've got to learn more about the marketing and uh, you know eventually you throw something against the wall it'll stick and the teachers will start to sell right. start to have money to hire people to to help me build a program and uh, you know sooner or later the things will start to happen that's, that's the goal that's the goal. you know I, I gotta help i have to help these kids i have to do more than be a teacher in a classroom because i i realize that my my abilities are not being utilized to their fullest and i really believe that giving these kids the the knowledge the food that they need for the real world will, will make uh, a lasting impression that will, you know, be handed down from generation to generation. This is the stuff 
that they will use for life and, and, and realize that this is stuff that their kids are going to need as well. So yes. this is a dream. This is a push. This is what I want to do. Well, I'm going to tell you, man, um, bosses push, leaders pull. And uh, <laughs> you're definitely a shining example of that. You know, it's up to, you know, the people to decide which way they want to be led. Yes. So, um, you hinted on something um, a little earlier about your video series. You have a video series where you do spoonisms. Um, <laughs> tell me a little bit more about that. <laughs> and uh, what are they and what has been the response to this? I'm very interested to like hear this. Answer. You know, it's really interesting, but I, I grew up shy, um, low self-esteem, uh, very self-conscious, mm. but there's one one amazing quality that I had about myself, and that is I got along with everybody. And uh, it didn't matter where you're from, who you know, what uh, nationality you were, religion. Any, I have friends from all walks of life, and mm. uh, you know, um, when I saw that people liked me and my personality, I kind of grew. Now, I'm a product of the 70s where, you know, you had the, the starting out of the rap. And uh, while I never really got into it, you know, I, I used to write rap poetry uh, to girls and whatnot, to friends and, and about things that that meant to me, you know, important to me. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as I got older, you know, I, I uh, one job I had in New York, uh, the social studies teacher started to, to write these plays and put on these plays. And I got parts in them, you know, little parts. But, I, you know, it was, it was, I was, it was nerve wracking as hell. <laughs> but I really enjoyed myself. So you put you put those two things together, writing poetry and wanting to perform, and you have the spoonism. You know, and everything is about the spoon. My 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 name has always been spoon. My nickname has always been a very popular thing. Yeah. So uh, everything's about the spoon. So hence the spoonism. And uh, you know, just another way to have fun and draw attention and uh, you know. Sometimes I rap about things that are important, like Martin Luther King Day. I did something about that. I did something about uh, Australia and the wildfires. Uh, then I just did some. I did a Christmas rap at school, as you know. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. So I mean, I'm, I'm I'm definitely no no match for the for those that are out there that really do it, that are selling uh, records and whatnot. But uh, you know, for me, it's just a fun, just another fun way to get stuff out there and. Um, you know, draw attention. People like that. They, they really, they have fun with it, you know. Well, I, I love to laugh. I love to make people laugh. And laughing at yourself is is a, is a really good thing. You know, if you can laugh at yourself, you are in a good place. Well, I have plenty, plenty to laugh about with regard to me. I'm going to say this. A lot of people aren't out there, like, teaching in their raps as well. So yeah, everyone right. does their thing a little bit different. And right. And have to, like, I mean, hats off to you, dude. Had to. Um, so, speaking of spoonisms, and I know you hinted on this a little bit earlier, but just go a little bit more into it. Like, how does that play into your mission at Ad Life, and uh, um, how does that go into the sale of the merchandise? Because you're actually wearing one of the shirts that you um, have on your site. Yes, this is the uh, the nothing shirt. Uh, it says, I have these glasses. These glasses are kind of like kaleidoscope glasses, so my vision is really messed up. It says, <laughs> chugging, drugging, thugging, plus bugging equals nothing. You know, chugging is drinking, drugging is doing drugs, thugging is, you know, robbing people, bugging is just breaking stuff, windows and whatnot. All that stuff you added together equals nothing, right? And, uh, you know, it, it had a flow to it. And, um, you know, so I equated the seizure. The spoonisms are, you know, uh, if I bring attention to various things like myself, mm -hmm. but issues, you know, you know, I can hopefully not only draw attention to myself, but it, but also to important issues. And again, they see that I'm wearing the shirt and and um, you know what it stands for positivity, and um, you know, go to the store and uh, buy a shirt. You know, okay. Uh, all, all the shirts are pretty much pertain to a an issue that is uh, you know that people need to do good uh, you know some of the stuff is about education some of the stuff is about you know getting along with each other some of the stuff is about uh, the environment you know all positive messages so 
Yes. Um, so that's what Ed Life is about. Ed Life Academy is about, you know, positivity and learning and, and doing better. All right. So now, you know, I can't let you go without you giving the people a example of a spoonism. So I don't know if you have anything ready, like a little five to 10 second freestyle of a spoonism, but <laughs> I need my audience to see. Oh my God. You what I me. see, and you must give the people at least a little like, man, just drop a bar of the spoon is for the people. Please, I beg of you, sir. <laughs> oh man, you make it so hard. Okay, I'm on the, the Brown Low show with the flow, ready to go. Uh, from the spoon with the tune, rock from here to the moon, with the positive vibe, always trying to ride. Uh, you know, do my thing, hear what I'm saying with the rap thing. Uh, <laughs> killing me, killing me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go ahead. It's the spoon. Go check him out. You know what I'm saying. Um, but I have to ask you this because this is what my show is known for. My executive producer gets upset if I do not ask this question, so I have to ask this yeah. question to you. Okay. Mr. Spooner, Mr. Mark yes. Spooner, what is the one word that describes you? and why? Fun loving, easy, fun loving. I am a very easy going, happy go lucky type of person. If you if, if you know me, uh, if you know people at school know me, ask them how to describe me, someone is always smiling, trying to make people laugh, trying to make people happy. Uh, I, I'm always showing love to everybody. Doesn't matter, uh, you know, whether we're close or not. Um, you know, I, I care for people and I want them to be happy because life is too short. So I think fun loving uh, really aptly describes the school. All right, that's what's up, man. Um, so if people want to get in contact with you or your program or they want to order a shirt, like how do people stay up with Ed Life? EdLifeAcademy.com, one word. Uh, the email is edlifeacademy at gmail.com. Uh, you know, look, I I'm at the ground floor of this and I'm always open to ideas. Uh, so if, if anybody has anything they feel uh, that I should include or if they have a, a, a topic that they want discussed or made uh, public, let me know. And I will, I will definitely uh, uh, do that because I'm, I'm very open. Uh, a, very, a very open person, and I'm always looking for, for stuff to uh, um, to do. I'm, I'm, this is a learning process for me, you know. Uh, but I definitely want to help people. That's what I'm about. So yeah. All right. Well, man. Um, well, we will definitely talk. And uh, man, you know, I really like what you're doing. Any shout outs? Anything you want to say before we part ways, sir? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Mama Spoon and Papa Spoon for having me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's about it, you know. <laughs> 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 Rella, I, let me just say this. I've never been interviewed for this. Uh, this is a, this is a, a uh, an amazing opportunity, and I'm I'm truly, eternally grateful for this. Uh, I think it's amazing what you do. Um, uh, I'm greatly appreciative of it, and um, you know. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a spoonism for you. Uh, it's gonna be posted on uh, on social media. I'm gonna do a spoonism for you. <laughs> well, hey, stuff. you know what? First, let me just say I'm honored that I'm gonna get my own personal spoonism. I just wanna tell you that <laughs> like, I'm all about the original like vintage. So like, as you can tell, I have to have on. So yeah, this is <laughs> Um But man, um, on like a real note, man, I'm for the people. I'm all about the people. I'm all about putting my people on. And, you know, especially if my people are doing positive things and they have something to share with the community. And I feel you do. That's why you're on the show. That's why we're doing this. So, um, man, let me just say hats off to you for even starting the program and even thinking of, you know, an aspect that, you know, the youth really do need. Um, I feel a lot of times um, society either caters to one end or, you know, the other end, you know, what about people in the middle? 
and I feel, you know, you are hitting that, you know, trail. You are like blazing that trail. As you said, you're in the beginning stages, but man, who knows, um, six months from now, a year from now, I'll be doing, like, you know, another interview with Spooner and, you know, who knows where this thing will be. So let me just say that, hey, you know, the A, the honor is mine, all mine, you know, to, you know, have this moment to do this with you. And B, just keep going, brother, because man, you have something to give to society and you have something worthwhile. Once again, brother, I really appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot for the opportunity. Thank you, man. All right, man. And on that note, we gonna leave on a positive note. This has been Word with Ty Brownlow. Once again, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. We out. Peace.